hello guys welcome to my channel in this video i am going to show you how can you use the grid layout in your kiwi program so first of all you have to import the grid layout so from kiwi dot uix dot uh, grid layout you have to import the grid layout and you have to make a class clss class and name it as you want uh, i am just uh, example of grid layout grid grid layout and in it we have to pass the grid layout grid layout then i am not doing anything here because i want to uh, do all the design tasks in the dot kv file to uh, create this dot kv file you just will need to click right click on the project kv new and then file in the file you will exactly write the same name as the app name uh, or class name run my app lowercase dot kv like it run my app dot kv you have to remember that the dot kv will be the lowercase and then press enter i have already created that and in this section we are going to make all the designs here so first of all you have to uh, copy it here and you have to call the exact part you want to show at your graphical window now uh, let's create some buttons here double D O and button and then give a text button uh, let make it as a and if i run it here you will see that in the down section okay button let's create more buttons now if we run it you will see there is a problem the button B is overlapping the button A. So for this solution, we have to specify the columns. The main purpose of the grid layout is to specify the column and rows. It gives us the facilities to make our content in rows and columns. So we have to give the rows here. Mm, in the rows, I am taking three rows and COLS columns. Sorry rows i am taking five rows now if i run it you can see it is divided into two part so this is the special special uh, benefit of the uh, grid layout and now let's copy and let's create more buttons uh, button control c control v let's make it as c and let's make it as d now if i run it you can see that it is taking three columns one two three and it is taking two rows because we have specified here columns three if we create columns four and now if i run it you can see that it is taking four columns this is how we can uh, store our content in the grid layout by specific columns and rows suppose if we made rows amount two and now if i run it it will not take more than two rows okay you can also customize uh, its font and sizes like size size hint let's give it a size 0.5 comma one and if i run it you can see that it is taking the given values okay it's not taking more than two rows cause we have specified here uh, columns is two uh, okay let's make it column as five and now if i run it it will take one two three four column and if we give more properties here it will take one more and then it will go to the downside so if you want to learn more about the customization of the buttons and the layouts you can check my kiwi tutorial from my playlist and subscribe to my channel 
uh, let's make an example if I run it hmm. if you want to learn about this you have to access to my kv playlist so thank you guys thank you for watching this video and if you are new to my channel please subscribe